Hello everyone, Sean Eyestone and Jackie Tan here from Kojima Productions with a special Tokyo Game Show 2014 gameplay presentation of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Back at E3 in Gamescom, we showed off the desert landscape of Afghanistan, but today we'll show you an entirely new stage in our mission to rescue a Mother Base Intel operative who's been captured by the enemy. He's a valuable member of our Mother Base team, so we need to recover him quickly before the enemy can extract information from him. So to start off, we'll take a survey of the landscape here, take a look outside of the helicopter. And note that you can choose to look out either the left or right side of the aircraft, so you can get a better view of the overall area. And this can be done at any time by the player. Coming up on our drop zone now, so let's go ahead and disembark. And the first thing we'll need to do is get to our target area. So let's go ahead and start off by calling in some transportation. All right, you can see our helicopter flying off in the distance. You'll also notice the lush green landscape, very different from what we've shown previously. Once again, our mission will be to infiltrate the jungle and rescue our captured operative. But before we get too far, let's open up our map and plan our route. Alright, so here's our target, up at the top of this plateau. Now we could get there along this road by riding our horse, but it is a long way to travel. So instead, let's take a shortcut on foot. And climb up the rock face directly. Since we don't need our transportation, we'll go ahead and dismiss our horse. And get him out of harm's way. Right, we'll make our way to the cliffs here. And uh, you do note that we are using a different uniform from what we've showed off previously. This particular outfit should be familiar to anyone who's played Metal Gear Solid 3. It's called the Naked Camouflage, with Snake going shirtless. Cool looking, yes, but not exactly the best option. So let's call Mother Base for some help. Right, so we'll order a supply drop to bring in our new sneaking suit. And according to our map, we'll need to scale this cliff face here. You do notice that there are cracks in the cliff, which should give us a good grip. So let's go ahead and utilize that to do some cliff climbing. <coughs> it looks like there's an enemy helicopter patrolling overhead. So let's just hang here for a bit, make sure we don't get spotted. And continue on up. Looks like our supplies have been dropped by our support unit. So let's see if we can take a look here. There it is. Let's go up and grab it. Alright, now that's more like it. Uh, in addition to providing some camouflage, this also provides a certain amount of defense and looks pretty cool as well. So now that we have our sneaking suit, let's go ahead and move on. And one thing I want to point out as we climb up the cliff is uh, if we take a look down at Snake's legs, you'll notice that he's wearing some pretty cool looking boots. Uh, these are actually boots that were designed by Shin Kawasan in collaboration with Puma. And uh, we will actually have these for sale as merchandise, and we'll have more information on that in the future, so stay tuned. As you can see, we've made it to the top and gained quite a bit of elevation, saved a good amount of time thanks to our shortcut. So let's continue onward. 
As mentioned previously, we'll need to infiltrate jungle terrain, which means visibility will be low, making it hard for enemies to spot us, but also making it difficult for us to spot threats. However, we do have a new device here in Metal Gear Solid 5 that comes in handy in situations like this. So let's go ahead and open up our items menu. It's called the Sonar Biodetector, and it uses active sonar to help us locate life forms that may be nearby. Animals, soldiers, or POWs. As you can see, the jungle is full of wildlife. But we do also have enemies on patrol here. Note the analyzer on the right side of the screen helps us to check out skills of the enemy before we go through the trouble of fultoning them. These two actually have pretty high stats, so it's to our advantage to capture and recruit them. Oops, but it does look like they're equipped with helmets, meaning we can't just go ahead and headshot them with our tranquilizer. So we'll have to try something else. We have a new item that comes in handy in situations like this. We call it the active decoy. And this is actually a balloon decoy that we can inflate. And it also plays a recorded message that lures enemies towards it. So while they're distracted, let's go ahead and sneak around them and take them out. Alright, so let's go ahead and fold in these two. That takes care of these two, but we don't know what other threats may be lurking in the jungle ahead. And it's also a pain if they happen to all be wearing helmets. Let's call in some backup to lend a hand. Dispatch requested. And there she is. This character is named Quiet. People may have seen her previously in trailers and in the cutscene we released prior to TGS. However, as you can see, she's also able to join Snake on his missions, and is an example of the new buddy system that's been implemented into Phantom Pain. Quiet can help by scouting out enemies, and can also provide assistance by afar by using her sniper abilities. So to start off, let's go ahead and assign her to a snipe point, so she can provide cover for us as we infiltrate the jungle. As you can see, Quiet has several superhuman abilities, such as the ability to turn herself invisible, and also the ability to move at extremely high speeds. Alright, there's a gunshot. Uh, shouldn't be Quiet, since we didn't order to attack anyone, so we'll need to be careful here. Looks like uh, Quiet has located an enemy for us. The green marker on the left is our buddy, in this case Quiet, and the orange marker on the right is our enemy. Not bad as far as stats are concerned. Let's see if we can take him alive. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like he had a buddy here. <laughs> nice teamwork. Thanks to Quiet, we were able to shoot off his helmet, giving us a clear shot with our tranquilizer. He's coming too. Roger that. Mm -hmm. Target's inside. Is that it? Right, and our intel unit is reporting rain approaching our vicinity. There it is. Once again, uh, this is an example of the real-time weather effects in the Phantom Pain. Weather will change dynamically, and in jungle settings such as this, rainstorms are fairly common. We see quiet off in the distance there. And uh, we also notice that there's some sort of uh, whining sound in the background. Could be an animal nearby, so let's use caution and see if we can find out what that is. Alright, looks like we have a puppy here. And his mother's been killed. Could very well be the gunshot that we heard earlier. Sad story, but we don't have time to play around with a puppy, so we'll prioritize our mission and move on. Our targets up ahead. But it does look like the puppy's trying to follow us, uh, which could be a problem since he does make noise. Let's try something to keep him busy. We'll go ahead and try and decoy here. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Alright, so the decoy should keep him busy for a while. So You're let's go ahead good. and move on ahead. Open up our map. See where we're at. Uh, you'll note that we are close to the enemy outpost now, so let's go ahead and use Quiet to scout ahead and uh, help us out by marking enemies. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Quiet has made it into the outpost, and she's marked some enemies for us. Definitely makes things easier. Let's make our approach here. We also see Quiet up there in the green. Right now we could go ahead and make our approach as is, but the rain and mist does make visibility a little low. So uh, let's go ahead and pass the time using our Phantom Cigar and wait for the weather to clear. Sun will rise momentarily. All right, so the weather's cleared up. We can move ahead. Uh, that said, it sounds like our puppy is also caught up with us while we're smoking. Does seem like a tough little guy. Friendly as well. So, uh, what do you say? Let's go ahead and bring him back to Mother Base. Go ahead and pass Fulton. And there he goes. Alright, so we'll move on ahead now. There's quiet. Providing cover for us. You have arrived at your destination. And it looks like we have some heavily armored enemies here. Very well equipped, which means that our tranquilizer rounds will have absolutely no effect on these guys. We'll have to try something else. That said, he's standing next to a cliff, which means we can try something kind of creative. 
Alright, so that worked out nicely. That said, it looks like his buddy did notice. Let's make our poach here. And try out one of our new items to take this guy out. It's called the stun arm, which is an augmentation to Snake's prosthetic arm that we can use to deliver an electric charge to an enemy through his armor and knock him out. It looks like Quiet has spotted another enemy for us. And in this case, it looks like it may actually be our mission target. And by the way, he's being abused. He could get executed at any time. So let's hurry up and take these guys out quickly. Take aim. We'll order Quiet to take out the guy on the left, while we go for the guy on the right. And take him out simultaneously. Right, and there's our target. Uh, some people may recognize him. This is actually Jackie, one of our level designers, and the one who happens to be at the controls of this gameplay presentation. Fortunately, he just can't seem to stay out of trouble. But we'll go ahead and rescue him one more time. Let's hook up the Fulton and send him on his way. Okay, that's bad. Uh, looks like he got spotted by an enemy sniper who managed to shoot down his balloon. And Quiet took him out. With a nice shot there, not before his friends noticed, so we're going to have to fight our way out now. White's doing a good job of providing cover, but we have more enemies coming out from the outpost up ahead. So let's go ahead and see if we can slow them down. Alright, that should buy us some time. So let's go ahead and get Jackie out of here. Okay, so our target's safely out. Now all we gotta do is vacate the hot zone. Oh. Right, once again, quiet kicking some ass. Quiet's got us covered, let's go ahead and make our way across the bridge and see if we can escape. Alright, we've got more reinforcements here. Uh, let's see if we can try using some decoys to keep these guys busy. Can buy us some time. Guys out. That's a nice shot there by Quiet. But more reinforcements. Uh, we'll have to fall back here, try to find an alternate route. And it looks like we are at a dead end here. Let's just take cover. More enemies coming down the slope. That said, do notice there's dry grass here, which means we can use that to our advantage. Let's run some patrol bombs. Okay, so that bought us some time. Let's go ahead and use this window of opportunity to call in our helicopter. Uh, that is not our helicopter, that's actually an enemy, so let's try to take some cover here. The 
unfortunately we missed with our grenade launcher and small arms fire won't do much good against a helicopter like this so we'll just have to lay low for a little bit we're pinned down here with no ammo in our grenade launcher so we're gonna have to try something a little creative try to make do with what we have so we'll select a hand grenade and have Quiet help us out. Alright, that actually worked nicely. I just gotta get out of here quick. This is Morphos, arriving shortly at LZ. Morphos incoming, so we'll just make a run for it. Quiet, going up ahead, providing cover. This is on a at LZ. And there's our chopper. And let's just get on and escape. Looks like we've escaped the hot zone. Mission accomplished. Good job. That concludes our Tokyo Game Show 2014 special presentation of Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more announcements coming soon. And thank you for watching. <laughs>